Sabi mo, kuta na ako. I have had enough. I want to end my life. Good day. First, let's watch this video. So in our last video, we saw that Elijah experienced a major victory for God and Israel in demonstrating to the people of Israel that Jehovah is truly God. But as we know, right after our victories often come our most embarrassing defeat. And so it was with Elijah. His victory over the prophets ended the drought and rain came pouring in. But Jezebel, the wife of Ahab, was furious because she had initiated idolatry in the first place and therefore wanted to kill Elijah. So when Elijah heard this, he became weak. I mean, it's interesting, isn't it? He could stand against 850 prophets, but would be afraid of one single woman. And so it is with us sometimes. So Elijah runs into the desert, sits down under a tree and prays. And it's wonderful to see that God does not answer all our prayers. And so it was with Elijah, because his prayer was, let me die, God. When Elijah heard this, he was afraid, so he ran away to save his life. He took his servant with him, and they went to Beersheba in Judah. Then Elijah left his servant in Beersheba and walked for a whole day into the desert. Then he started down under the bush and asked to die. He said, I have had enough. Lord, take my life. I am no better than my ancestors. Then Elijah lay down under the bush and went to sleep. An angel came to him and touched him. An angel said, Get up and eat. Elijah looked around and by his head there was a cake that had been baked over coals and jar of water. He ate and drank and then went back to sleep. Later, the Lord's angel came to him again, touched him and said, Get up and eat. If you don't, you will not be strong enough to make the long trip. So Elijah got up, he ate and drank and felt strong. Then Elijah walked for 40 days and 40 nights to Mount Horeb, the Mount of God. Elijah said, I have had enough. I have had enough. You have enough of what? You have enough of problems? Enough of loans to be paid? Utang. Sickness, ikaw ba ay may sakit na pabalik-balik? family problems, enough na ako sa pinaggagawa niya. Usapang mag-asawa, sabi mo, kuta na ako. I have had enough. I want to end my life. Guys, you want to end your life? You end what? Minsan, dumarating sa tao ang mga problema. At minsan, iniisip natin at ginugusto natin na tayo ay mamatay. End of life. Ano ba yung mga bagay na namatay? End of dreams? End of relationship? End of job? End of family relationship? Then you said, I just want to die. What we should do? Kapag nakaranas tayo ng mga stress, ng mga problema, ano ang ating gagawin? Sabi nga, then Elijah lay down under the bush and went to sleep. Natulog si Elijah. Saan ba tayo dapat matulog? Sabi nga sa Psalms, In peace I will lie down and sleep for you alone, Lord. Make me dwell in safety. Sabi nga, sleep in the presence of the Lord. Magpahinga ka sa piling ng Panginoon. Not in the second life. But in this life, muna. Sleep in the presence of the Lord. Kapag kasi ang Panginoon nagbigay sa atin ng 
tulog, yan po ay magandang tulog at walang kabalisa. Sabi nga sa Proverbs 3 verse 24, When you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. Nakaranas na ba kayo ng natulog na tulog na kayo? Yan ang gusto nating tulog, yung sweet sleep. Kaya nga, kapag gabi, sinasabi natin good night, sweet dreams. Then, ano ang ginawa ni Elijah? After siya natulog, then, ano ang ginawa ng angel? Sinabihan siya, get up. Then, sabi niya, kumain ka. Alam mo ba, ang tao kapag mayroong problema, may iba po ang chemical reaction ng kanyang body. Lalong-lalo na kung stress, pagod, walang tulog, walang kain, uhaw na uhaw. So, ano ang gagawin natin? Of course, kumain tayo ng mga pagkain. Na pagkain natin mismo. And then after that, then sabi nga sa Matthew 4, 4, Jesus answered, It is written, man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Magbasa rin tayo ng Biblia. Makinig tayo ng mga mensahe mula sa Panginoon, ng mga sermon. Humingi tayo ng advice, tumabag tayo ng advice mula sa ating kaibigan, sa mga kakilala, sa mga advisor. Kung gusto natin magpa-counsel, then call a counselor. Hallelujah. Then if you want a counsel, then call me now. And then the number will be flagged here right now. Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never be hungry and he who believes in me will never be thirsty. Sabi nga, Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Kailangan po natin ng bread. Do kasi sa silangan, they need bread. Dito sa atin sa Pinas, we need rice. So, bread is a symbol of life. And Jesus said, I am the bread of life. So, ano po? ang gagawin natin. Sabi nga, Jesus is the bread of life. Kapag kinain po natin ang kanyang salita, binasa po natin ang kanyang salita, naunawaan natin ang kanyang salita, then ano ang sabi? You will never be go hungry. Minsan kasi sa ating buhay, kapag nakakaya na tayo, in the other, sa ilang oras, gugutom na naman ulit tayo. Magugutom na naman ulit tayo. Pero sabi nga, kapag kay Jesus ka lumapit, you will never be hungry. Ang sabi nga, thirst, uhaw. At hindi ka mauhaw. Thirst for what? Ano ba ang kinauuhawan natin? Minsan kasi, we are thirst for love. Humahanap tayo, uhaw na uhaw tayo na pagmamahal. And then, isa pa, we are thirst for attention. Gusto natin ang attention ng ating mahal sa buhay, attention ng tao, attention ng ating kaibigan. We are thirst for attention. But sabi nga, whoever drinks the water I give, then you will never be thirsty. Kapag ininom natin ang tubig na ibinigay ng Panginoon, hindi na po tayo mauhaw. Salamat po na kapag sinunod natin ang Panginoon, binasa natin ang kanyang salita, maramdaman natin ang kanyang pagmamahal, hindi na po tayo mauhaw. Hindi na po tayo mauhaw. We will become strong by if you are stressed, of course, you will be weak. Weak in the body, weak in mind, weak in spirit. Then what we should do? We must sleep. We must drink water. Of course, we must eat. Eating, drinking, and sleeping. Kasi kahit kumakain ka at wala kang tulog, wala rin mangyayari. Kahit kumakain ka, pero hindi ka umiinom ng tubig, wala rin mangyayari. Kahit natutulog ka, pero wala ka namang kinain, ano mangyayari sa'yo? You will become weak. Sabi nga, sabi ng, ng anghel kay Elijah, get up, eat. And then, Elijah ate the, the cake or bread.